captured in the funeral program of late Mrs. Erete, a primed departure like a candle in the wind. The story being told of the life and times of the deceased is a life, though short-lived, was filled with memories that will linger for a while. Reverend Obon Eyo in a sermon eulogized the sterling attributes of late Mrs. Erete within and outside the church, which endeared her to many. He charged Christians not to allow the storms of life to separate them from the love of Christ, which goes beyond the grave, and enjoined them to extend the love they have for the late Mrs. Erete to his immediate family members. If God is for us, who can be against us? Irrespective of what river is happening to our lives, if God is for us, what shall separate us from the love of God? That is in Christ Jesus. In a biography, late Mrs. Erete died after a protracted illness on the 25th of August 2017. Was a devoted Christian, head-working and educated lady whose services would be missed by the church where she served as a chorister and the University of Calabar Teaching Hospital where she worked as a procurement officer until her death. The general manager NTA Calabar, Peter Mbeken, was among dignitaries who attended the funeral service. Some relatives and close associates of the deceased speak on the life and times of the late Mrs. Erete. I can't, I can't take it now, please. Love shall transcend the grave. Uh, she has passed on. Let the legacy she lead, the positive ones, be the ones who copy and move on with. She's always around. Even the children in the family are actually missing her. She was a very dedicated chorister. She was so bold and courageous. We really miss her because it's a great minus. The deceased left behind to mourn her a daughter, her husband and host of other relatives, including Mr. Omini Oden, a management staff of NTA headquarters Abuja, and was interred at the Hawking Cemetery, Calabar, amidst emotions. In Calabar, Morunlio Ajom, NTA News.